Drive into working class Cheswick, Pennsylvania. Walk up the hill in Springdale. Float past these communities on the Allegheny River. It doesn't matter the vantage point, they all have in common one site. The stacks of the NRG coal-fired power plant. One of the 800 NRG plants across the country, its stacks can be seen from the Goodwill store and the VFW post, from Sheets gas station and Glenn's frozen ice cream stand. They follow you like the eyes in a painting around the room, around the town. The stack's footprint and breath are everywhere, from backyard pools and parks to the grit and grime on porches, window sills, bedroom walls. Ever present, like weather or air, they have become invisible to all but a few dedicated activists. One tower is old, silent now. The other is tall, updated with scrubbers, and belches an almost continuous plume of what appears to be rolling smoke. No one seems to know with certainty what chemicals hide in that cloud as it shoots into the atmosphere and drifts up river across the hills, out of sight and into the lungs and lawns of neighbors. Nationwide, power plants account for 40% of carbon dioxide, two-thirds of sulfur dioxide, and 22 percent of nitrogen oxides. These and other pollutants can trigger asthma attacks, contribute to lung and heart disease, mercury, a neurotoxin in particular harmful to children in developing fetuses. In a 2006 study, the Cheswick plant was rated 17th on the list of America's 50 dirtiest sulfur dioxide polluters by the Independent Environmental Integrity Project. The NRG stacks are woven into the culture here. The high school football team calls them the Stacks of Doom and chants that moniker as a war cry before taking the field. Most ironically, they can be seen from the side yard of Rachel Carson's original homestead. The mother of environmental awareness lived just up the hill from where these vertical cannons stand today. It was there that she wrote, Silent Spring, a warning for the future, now our present. On a recent map that shows the spread of large and fine particle pollution from the Cheswick plant, her home is in the red zone. It has been six years since this photo exhibit appeared at the Pittsburgh Filmmakers, and since then quite a lot has happened in the town of Cheswick with the plant. As the gas website reports, there had been substantial exceedances in sulfur dioxide and the Cheswick plant was cited for civil penalties by the Allegheny County Health Department. The plant was having trouble with nitrogen oxides as well, which damage through um, ozone on people's health. The federal court had discovered that there was a loophole that allowed them to produce more pollution than they should. Finally, the plant is closing. So now both towers are silent and the residents there who have suffered from pollution for so many years can now breathe easily.